people! Welcome your faces back to yet another Rolling Lines video! This is the train game with lots of trains in it, and roads, and ocean, as well as hairy planes. So let's get into it! Hey! So, if you're wondering what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be taking this train around the map a little bit more. Um, I want to figure out a few more pieces of the map and, um, yeah, just have a look around in general. Like, I've never seen this before, it's a bridge for our little trains to go over. Or in this case, quite a big train, to be fair. It's got lots of carriages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine carriages. Over a bridge and through a tunnel. Wow! So, I did actually end up downloading this map off of the uh, Steam Workshop um, because it was called Canadia. Now, I was looking at this and I don't think it's actually changed at all. Um, if we have a look around the outside of the map, maybe these bits have changed a little bit. Um, the bottom has been painted and there's a few little pieces that are completely different to normal. Um, like we've got this whole ocean layout right here. Um, not really too sure where this power is going to because obviously it's in the middle of some ocean. Um, but yeah, we got a little yacht. That's pretty cool. And we got two, two massive ships. Not sure what they are because they're definitely not, you know, um, you know, like cruisers. They're not cruise ships. They're more like, I don't know, cable layers, I guess. I don't know why they would do that. Or maybe ferries. Maybe they're ferries. That makes more sense, actually. Um, we got this little train that's going really slowly around the outside, which is also a passenger train. Which, um, I wasn't expecting. But why is it going so slowly? Let's, let's change that a little bit, shall we? Go, go, go! And off it goes. It's gonna go the speed of light around the track. Awesome. So if we go from these big things over here, these big ships, and we go around, it gets sort of boring. Like, they've finished up to this point here, but there's not really that much here. You know, there's... So it goes from the ocean to, I don't know, some stone, I guess, and then just like a power plant, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, we continue a little bit further around, we got the bridge, as I showed you in the first video. Um, this thing basically flicks around, and you can get your trains to go over to the middle bit, um, and from the middle bit out to the other bit as well, to the outside. Um, there's more massive trains going really slowly. Wow, I haven't actually seen that before. We've got three locomotives on one train, with like a million carriages. That's actually pretty cool. Got lots of little carriages there. Um, then we got the vineyards with the silos, that's pretty cool. And, um, this bit of the map's new too, but there's not much changed. Wow! Hold on. Okay, I've not seen this before. Um, what? Where's that even coming from? It's coming out of a cave. Okay, this is the new part of the map then. So, as you guys can see, it's actually pretty tall. It's got some really big mountains, I guess. Wow! Holy balls, look at this! I couldn't work out how the track did this, but look at that. That's weird, isn't it? So it goes all the way around. There's like a high track and a low track. Jesus! Okay, so we got the low track that goes through here. We're gonna have to jump on a train that goes through, so we'll we'll go all the way to the end of this thing. And uh, we'll jump on a train. In fact, we could get a train and put one in. Unless there's one already there. There's one already here. So let's jump on this and see where it actually goes to. There are a few trees and stuff on the tracks, but I don't blame them for that. Here we go. Yeah, oh, wow, this looks insane. Yes, we're going uphill though. Which is a little bit weird, but yeah. Wow, oh, oh god. All the rocks and stuff. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, what? We're missing a piece of track. We just went over it anyway. Okay, that's that's a little bit creepy. But looking at it from the outside, we'll just see the train go across the bridge. Oh, that is pretty cool, isn't it? So it goes, it's just a big track around. If we have a look back where that comes from. Um, well, I mean, that goes through a wall right there. But there should be somewhere around here where that train's going to go to. Um, unless it zigzags. Oh, it goes all the way around. I see. Okay, so it's like a big, a big swirly ship. And then it comes out. Oh, that is strange. I like it, though. I like it. That is very different. So I know the question on everybody's minds is how quickly can you go around this thing in a fast as bloody hell train? Uh, let's have a look and see. Um, I don't know which train is actually the fastest. We're going to go ahead and say one of the big locomotives, like one of these ones. And I like the, um, I like the orange one the best. So we're literally just going to plop this on the track. Wait, hold on. I can hear something. I can hear a train, but I don't know where it is. That's okay. Maybe it's the one in my hands. That's fine. Okay, get inside. Put it to full speed. Put the headlights on. Put the cab lights on. Hopefully we don't ram into the... Oh, God. Did we ram into that? 
Okay, we're fine. It's fine. Let's jump back into the train and see what happens. So we're going the speed of light. We're going as fast as we can. I don't think we can go any faster. So yeah, this is it. This is it. Let's go, boys. Around. Around the side. Yes. Oh, this is pretty creepy. Can we go on this side? Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Looking out the window. We could go around here through the rocks. Oh, God. Oh, they come into the train a little bit, but that's okay. And we go all the way around. Can I go on top of the train? And um, back through, which I don't like this bit going through the back because uh, it's not detailed. But then over the other bridge. Oh, man, that looks insane. That looks really cool. Oh, oh, and then back through some more rocks because why wouldn't we? And out through a tunnel. Oh, yes. How cool is this? And then back across another bridge. Oh, there's three bridges across this one river. Wait, and there's like a log camp and stuff. Look at this. Oh, doesn't that look cool? I would love to live there. That would be awesome. Having trains cross over your head every day. I mean, that bit doesn't sell it, to be fair. Um, but yeah, how cool is this little place? How does one make a massive train go faster? I don't know. Maybe we jump inside. Can we jump inside? And horn the horn. Okay. Go faster. Okay. Maybe we can change to the second one now. Go faster. Oh, it automatically changes. Oh, wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. So they all automatically change um, to whatever the front one is. Or maybe they all change to whatever whichever one you change is. So that's pretty cool. That one's going really fast now. That's awesome. We'll leave that going. We've got our little steam train that we started with coming this way. Awesome sauce. What are the trains around this map? Can I go through walls? I can. Okay. There is a part of the normal map that we haven't really seen as well. Um, and that's this piece over here. So we got a tunnel right there underneath the road. Uh, which goes all the way around, which is pretty awesome. Wait. Oh. Whoa. Holy balls. Look how big this train is. I think I might have accidentally done that. Yeah, maybe. Um, so actually, let's test this. So the front train has how many bars? It's got four. Let's have a look at what this train has. It should already have... Oh, it's got five. There we go. Let's put it on six. Okay. And then let's change this one. Uh, I guess to six. Oh wait, this one's already full speed. Okay. Yeah, that one at the back pushed these ones to go a little bit faster. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we've also got our little train catching up, which is awesome. And we've got loads of cars here for some reason. What are the cars doing? Wait, hold on. I want to check something. So last time I played with this, um, it basically stayed still in the air. But if I put this in the air, like let's say there, and I got on the ground, does it fl Where's it gone? I, I don't see it. I don't see the plane. That's a bit weird, isn't it? That's a bit strange. Can we go on a boat? Oh, hold on. We can. We can actually be on top of the boat. That is pretty cool. How awesome is that? Right, I guess it's time to actually do some work. So we're going to come down here and we're going to use one of these trains um, to, I guess, attach this train to the back of this train. Um, so that'll be what? Like four... And that's three carriages plus one, two, three, four. Okay, so seven. Um, if we can attach those together somehow. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is more complicated than I thought. Let's get this going forwards. Okay, really slowly. Okay, so that's going to go forwards. And um, we want it to come this way. And then we want it to turn left. So if we can do that, that would be pretty good. Turn left. Then it'll go down here and almost crash into this train. But hopefully it doesn't. Um, we'll make sure it doesn't by flicking this one that way. So even if this train goes too far, it will miss this train. It'll just come and attach to this. That's good. Okay, awesome. It is going in. Wait, let's attach it to that one as well. Uh, we'll do this one afterwards, though. So let's um let's just speed you up. Here we go. Go super fast. And okay, get ready to stop. Oh, uh, we did actually hit the train. Whoa! Whoa! Way! Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Put this on there. We need to shunt it backwards. We need this one to move as well because it's in the wrong place. R to reverse. No, go backwards. Okay, hold on. Wait, no, that's backwards. Bums, go the other way. We don't really care about that train. We just care about this one. Okay. Okay, attach to your train, please, sir. Okay, it'll slowly reverse up and hopefully attach to this train. Yes, they're linked. Okay, awesome. Um, then it'll come back. We need it to go down there, though. Okay, go forwards again. Go forwards. 
Okay, get it to go forwards a hell of a lot. There we go. And to stop. That would be... Oh, wait. We go on to the front now. Damn it. Okay. So, it'll come backwards. We want it to turn to the right. We also want this one to turn to the right. So, hopefully, it'll push it that way. Um, and then we want that one to turn to the left. And that should work. All right. Okay. Get back in this train. Go backwards. Super fast. Let's see how this goes. So, we should go right here. And then right again, but left at this one. Uh, yes. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Have we attached? We've attached. Okay. Stop the train a second. How do we get out of this situation? <laughs> we're, we're way too big now. I don't think we'll be able to get out of here. This train is massive. Um, okay. Okay, the only thing that I can think of is getting rid of this. We don't need it. We'll just put it in the water. And, um, yeah, we need to get back in here and go forwards. Here we go. Go all the way to the end. And hopefully... Hopefully... We've got enough room... At the end... To not die. Okay, there we go. We're pushing that one off the side, but that's okay. And... Do we have enough room? No, we need to get rid of this. Wait, hold on. Where did that come from? These trains just fly! Oh, you're not allowed to run into them. Because this is like physics and stuff. Whoa. Okay, well, that didn't work. I'm not a very good train driver, uh, but that's okay. We can switch to a different train. So I'm going to end this video here. just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And remember, trains don't fly. So um, that's always good advice for anyone that wants to be a train driver. They don't fly. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.